Hello, this is Anneke from The Gathering and you're watching Portal Lisboa Jovem. Now that we're through hey, what's it like uh, being in uh, Rock and Rio? It's great. It's for us it's really wonderful to come in such a big festival and play and there's a some people who knew us who come especially for us and there's a lot of people who don't know us and they came over the hill they came to see what's going on they came to see us and that's really nice because that's what you do in these big uh, events you know you try to draw a few people and let them hear your music and but other than that it was just fantastic to play the sound was great the people are wonderful and audience is also so beautiful and nice and yeah, we're so happy. We're really happy. Why don't you give it a try? After nine albums, how does the band feel like at the moment? Good question, because it's been a long time since we are around. And every time you make an album, every time you start making new songs, you start to talk about, so what is it that we're going to do? Because for us making the same album twice, even though uh, there are a few albums of The Gathering who are most popular. We know people really like this kind of music, but when we talk about it, we really search inside of how do we feel right now. That's what we should make, you know, that's what we should out. We never think about what the people want or what the record company wants. or. So we just uh, sit with each other and we make riffs and we make uh, vocal parts and we make drums, rhythms and, and then we see what's, what we have and then we mold it into a form like uh, do we want to go a bit heavy, do we want to go uh, a bit more soft or doomy or... And uh, so we do exactly have how as we feel at the moment we are writing. So therefore it's just changing a little bit because we are always in a different state because we are always or touring or experiencing things that are, is inspiring for us, you know. We never do the same thing twice. How is home different than the other records, for instance? I think it's different a little bit because it's more pure. We really wanted to make this album more close to our hearts. The last studio album, um, Souvenirs, was very produced, which is great. It was a lot of layers, seven guitars, seven vocals, a lot of stuff going on. When you listen to it ten times, you always hear something new, it's really nice. But we couldn't make this better. We couldn't make this and then better. And yeah, we couldn't top it. And, and we, we thought, well, then we go the other way. We go pure. Enough megalomania, you know. Exactly. <laughs> you should keep busy, you know, on a rainy day. <laughs> it's always raining in Holland, so you just inside making music. Is the fact that uh, you guys have uh, brothers in your band a positive thing or a setback? I think it depends on which brothers you have in a band. I know a lot of bands with brothers, and sometimes they can go really physical fighting and all that stuff but Hans and Rene are really really close and they are very different guys they are very different characters and they fit I think the, the brothers for us are the glue in the band they keep us together they are like uh, two peas in a pot you know they they feel each other they know each other they fight but they also have good 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 normally it's not you should yeah, exactly. For us, it's, uh, I think it's a pro to have them, uh, because it's a unity, you know, like this. Is home about Holland or the Netherlands? <laughs> Could be, really, but home can be anywhere, you know. Home, ho you know the saying, home is where the heart is? You can be in Portugal and feel at home. For instance, I feel very much at home in countries like this, uh, in the Mediterranean countries or in... Uh, countries where people are very warm and open-hearted and you all, you out very much, you know. In Holland people are a bit more quiet, a bit more cool, which is okay. We have a lot of places where we feel at home, really. And when we tour, there's always favorite places. 
to go and that's home but this home is also where your family is or where I have a husband and a kid that's home for me of course number one so it can be anywhere but also with the band and a group of friends making music being close that's home and it goes for you too and for everybody everybody has a place outside of their roof that, that is home or when you're the you know house changes or if you're at home in another place it depends or not or not yeah, or not it's it's quite important where you are rooted you know it's, it's really important yeah you uh, toured uh, while pregnant uh, what was that like for you and for the other members as well uh, it it was quite funny it was it was really nice of course I was a bit more tired so in the afternoon I would take a nap. I was sleeping an hour and then in the evening we would play and the funny thing is that I was quite big or the big belly and then I was playing guitar like this because uh, like this can do it the most funny thing is the most nice thing was that in the heavy songs it, he, the baby Finn was very quiet but in the soft songs, he started to move, and and I would feel him. And then in the beginning, I was, oh, 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 oh I feel her. And but um, the audience would go, mm, nice, nice artistic change for the songs. <laughs> yes, what's she doing? <laughs> but I was enjoying. And then after a while, there was really uh, certain points in the set where I knew uh, when we sing this song, he starts to move, and he would start to move. really together so there is there's nothing more beautiful than that really <laughs> best audience yes he still is he, when sometimes I put a gathering on and he's like he was like this so it's the best audience you can have it's great